this is question number one of the June 2019 paper. Um, the scenario behind it all is that there's a, a company called Progressive Medium uh, Museums and they're going to take mobile museums into primary schools around the country to bring the history of the curriculum to life. They're going to be using some buses and some lorries um, and they, they develop a new product called Life in Rome in Britain and then you've been employed uh, to develop the interactive presentation for the museum and you've been asked to provide some ideas about how the new Life in Britain Museum can be promoted. So the first question is, explain why a mind map could be produced at the first meeting. So here, what we need to focus on is that the mind map can be used to allow people to share ideas, it can be used to record those ideas as well, and it can be done nice and quickly as well. So all we need to do is say, um, the mind map can be used to share ideas quickly at the first meeting. You could also say uh, it can be used to generate, if I can spell generate, ideas um, and share with other people. Okay, you could also say it will allow uh, everyone at the meeting to share their ideas. So it's it's a fairly quick and easy question to get marks on. So if you said a moment could be used to share ideas, that's one mark straight away. If you mention the word quickly, that's a second mark. So automatically we've got our two marks straight away. But if you said it can be used to generate ideas, that's enough for a mark and share with other people, that's a second mark as well. Or if you said it allows everyone at the meeting to share their ideas, so the fact that you've mentioned about everyone at the meeting, that's a, a mark, and to share their ideas is a second mark. So you can see it's quite easy to get marks on this uh, first question. So the, the key thing to, to make sure that you do is to focus on the mind map, because that's what they're testing your knowledge on, and, and that's what it is. So, when it, it, in this scenario at the beginning they talk about lots of visual ideas and there's lots of visual references about interactive things like that but what you need to do is just focus on the mind map and the fact that it's there to help you generate ideas then the second question or the second part says identify two possible audiences for the mind map so here you've got to make sure that you don't make reference to the client the pre-production team um, as they're too vague and the answer must be in the context of the question. So here we could have, it could be school teachers could be one. You could also have um, the museum owners because they're the ones that are gonna be putting it on. They're the ones who will see the ideas and want to do it. So you could say museum owners or you could say progressive museums if you want to give them their full name. Uh, you could also mention uh, the graphic designers as well they're the ones that's going to have to design the, 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 the products or you could say the design team um, you could say the actors as well who are going to actually be acting out the um, the scenarios and reenacting Roman life and things like that so they're the key things you need to think about so don't mention the client and don't recommend uh, don't mention the pre-production team either so that's question number one so one mark for teachers progressive medium or progressive museums, the graphic designers will give you a mark, or you said the actors as well. So once again, two quick marks and a fairly straightforward question. Okay.